Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about Facebook's Audience Insights tool, which is a great tool for conducting research on your audience to figure out what they're interested in, uh, their demographic information like age, gender, et cetera, things like that. So that way you can kind of you know pinpoint uh, where your audience hangs out on Facebook. So to get there, you go into your ads manager and you probably wanna go to your menu here and you scroll on down until you come to Audience Insights. So you should see Audience Insights here. Click that option and it'll load your Audience Insights tool. Now you can go ahead and select an audience to start with. So everyone on Facebook or people connected to your page. So you know, select what's relevant. More than likely you can do everyone on Facebook is my experience. I've never done the other one actually. So, And so now we can go ahead and start selecting the information like on locations, age and gender, interests, connections, pages, advanced, etc., to hone in and figure out who our audience is. So I'm gonna close this real quick. You can go ahead and of course add or change the countries or locations. And then of course we can go ahead and select the age range and gender as well. But I'm gonna start with the interest here and I'm gonna, just for the sake of example, I'm gonna be targeting digital marketing stuff because if you're watching this video, you probably know a little bit about digital marketing and so you'll be able to hopefully relate. So I'll just say like MailChimp. So the program, MailChimp, and I'll go ahead and select it right here. And now we see on the right hand side, the information is updated, right? So our audience has changed from 900K to a million people or so instead of the 200 million people. We see the age and gender breakdown now. So 43% women, 57% male. So that sounds about right, digital marketing. We get into relationship type information, education level. So we know if they went to high school, college, grad school, get into job titles then and see like what job titles are most interesting. And all this information can be very helpful to us when we're creating our ads and our, our marketing content. So we can be like, okay, so most of the people are, are college educated, they're married. So you can start to craft your messages to talk to married individuals that are college ed educated and so on. So this helps you, you know, dial in to your audience, your ideal customer and so on. Now coming up here at the top, this is where it gets like even more powerful is with page likes. So you get into here and then you can start finding out what other categories people are interested in. So we have MailChimp of course, and usually what I do is I just start a little document here and just record what I find. So software again, Shopify, so hey, that could be good. Well, we can hone in on Shopify, entrepreneur, so Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. And then we got like Facebook for business for the internet company and then other companies, Small Business Saturday makes sense. Walgreens probably, you know, that that might not be super applicable. Publisher, entrepreneur, comedian, is that relevant? I don't know, probably not really. But who knows, maybe there's a subsect of people that like Cat Williams that are also digital marketers. Public figures, Heavy D, not sure who that is. Tony Robbins, Country Rain, Dane Ramsey, Mike Rowe, Kevin Gates, okay. Budweiser, Bud Light, Dollar Shave Club, Whole Foods Market. You can click see all and you can get even more into the details of what these people are interested in. And you can get a lot of ideas obviously right here. And then at the bottom here, it breaks down the affinity amount. So of course, MailChimp, the affinity is 234 times. So people are 234 times more likely to be interested in MailChimp and obviously because my keyword or my interest here was MailChimp. So that makes some sense obviously. But then we got like HubSpot right here. And that's the next closest option. So what I might wanna do then is come over here and I'll wipe out MailChimp and I'll go ahead and plug in HubSpot and search for it as well. And it searched for the demographics work employer. So that, that's not enough people. So let me do HubSpot again and search this one here. So now I have enough people in my audience. So one point one to one and a half million people. And then now we see like Hootsuite here. And again, Facebook for business. We see Gary V again, Robert Kiyosaki, Creative Live for education, Inc. Magazine, Entrepreneur, Real Simple and so on. So you can see a lot of information here. And another good thing about this is if you're like, hmm, who's Brene Brown? I keep seeing this name pop up as I'm doing my research. I wonder if they, there's somebody that I should go ahead and you know research. So you just click on the name and it pops up and it's like, okay, so I'm locking yes. And then you can kind of research the pages that people are visiting and following. So is this relevant to my digital marketing audience? Well, I don't think so, right? For just from first looking at it. And I think my wife actually follows Brene Brown maybe. So I don't think this is a digital marketing thing. So I'm like, okay, Brene Brown's 
Brene Brown isn't right, but maybe this Inc. Magazine, maybe this is right. And so you can come in here and be like, okay, so this talks about founders and investors. So this looks like my group of people. So I could come into my note, notepad document here, be like Inc. Magazine is something worth targeting. So that sounds interesting. And of course, then you can go in here and you know search for Inc. Magazine and see what type of people, places, likes pop up for Inc. Magazine and see if anything's relative to who you wanna go ahead and target. And basically, you can come up with a good list of different interests and different categories, like different pieces of software that people follow, different people people follow or different magazines or publications people follow or books that people read in your market. And then that's where you go ahead and you can create your audience targeting these different categories of interest that people have, right? So that that's the idea here is it's all about getting that research and you spend a lot of your time in the page likes area and visiting those pages to make sure that they are relevant to what you're trying to advertise. And of course, if you do use like age range and stuff, like maybe you do want to target 20, four to, uh, I don't know, 50 year olds or something like that, and only males, well then it's going to automatically optimize the page likes uh, for that those demographic information. So we throw MailChimp in there now, and now we get some different information, like now Tim Ferriss is popping up, Rob Deerdick, so the skateboarder guy, but he's also a very good entrepreneur, actually. Uh, then we got beers way up there, and so on. So, of course, as you plug in different information, you know, the page likes adjust appropriately to account for the different options you've selected. Uh, just, just for example, you can come in here now and look up connections, so people connected to your page or not connected to your page. And then we also have advanced, so you can go into you know relationship status if you want to, and you want to look at what married guys like, and so on. So you select married and all that. So they like ugly stick, which I think is fishing. Um, so that doesn't have anything to do with marketing. But anyway, that point is you go in here and you try and figure out you know what people are doing. Miller welders. So hmm, I'm getting into some weird stuff, probably not Mailchimp marketing related. So you just got to go ahead and play around with it to essentially generate your list right here, right? So that that's like the main goal or what I do for audience insights is to see who my my customers are demographic wise. So all this type of information. So when I create my ad creative, I can speak to those particular customers better. I can speak to males, married, college educated with children, right? So you would talk to those individuals a lot different than you talk to like a 13 year old girl that's on TikTok. And of course you probably know this without looking at the tool, who your audience is, like somebody selling fishing poles is probably targeting males, you know, my age demographic and so on. So you likely already know who your customer is and you know this demographic information, but you can find a lot of different unique likes by going in here and searching around here for you know 15, 30 minutes and coming up with a bunch of keywords. And then of course, when you have your list of keywords and you're setting up your ad, so you go into your ads manager and we create a campaign and we get to the ad set level. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So just create and I'm gonna continue where I left off and I'm coming into my ad set level and scrolling down here and delete that out of there. And now in my interests, I can go ahead and start plugging in what I got. So I got like MailChimp, right? So I'll throw that in there. And then I've got Shopify, Gary Vaynerchuk, Inc. Magazine, so Shopify. And I might see that my audience is too large now, 27 million people. So maybe instead I go ahead and narrow it and I put like Shopify down here. And this gets into an audience stacking strategy, which I talk about in another video that I'll link to down below. But anyway, you go ahead and now I have people that like Gary Vaynerchuk, Inc. Magazine, or MailChimp, and they also like Shopify, and we're down to a 2.7 million person audience, which is pretty good audience size. And so that's where you go ahead and plug in those interests that you discovered using the Audience Insights tool is right here at the ad set level. And it can definitely be very helpful with your targeting efforts, especially when you're trying to figure out what people follow and show interest in on Facebook. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to go over the Audience Insights tool and how to use it for researching different interests that your target audience might be interested in so that we can target them with your ads, right? And so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Here to help you out. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.